Take off your shirt and step check for defensive wounds, and like, you know, there wasn't going to be any. She didn't fight, and I don't know why. So she didn't grab, could she grab your arms, I, or were your arms pinned down? Or? I don't, not, not that I remember. I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't think like I moved to where my knees were around her arms or anything, but it was just kind of like when I got on top of her and we, we started talking, it was that was it. <laughs> it's kind of like in my head. Or like in the back of my head that was going to happen and just like at the end of the conversation it was just like that's what happened mm -hmm. I just wish I could have let go did it seem like it was that long two to four minutes how long did it seem for you almost kind of felt like it was felt like it was longer almost because it felt like time was standing still it's kind of like I just saw my life disappearing before my eyes but I just like I couldn't let go it was like somebody else like like if you picture somebody else around you holding your hands holding you keep you from not not letting go at some point there was a statement about rage do you feel like you're in a rage at that point how do you, uh, how that's the only way I can describe it honestly snap or something I mean I, don't, I know I guess my attorney had said like some you know you know strangulation is more of like a I don't know passionate type thing I'm just like I don't know how that can be passionate because you're right in there, oh, yeah. using your own hands. It's a lot different than someone standing across the room and you shooting them or something like that, so. I just, I just felt like somebody was, like, behind me, just, like, just, mm -hmm. I just couldn't let go. It's interesting to me because there was a lot of things in your life that were like that, right, where you just, like, maybe felt out of control or maybe felt like, I don't know why I couldn't stick, take a step back or, you know. Like even when you said when your buddy was like, let's go to the football game, you wanted to say yes, he just could. Yeah, I wanted to. Like I, I never been, I've been to a football game since North Carolina, so I was just like, yeah, sure. Like, just, I wanted to say that. Yeah. I wanted to just, just text him, hey, you know, it was here, fell through, can't go. So, then what? After, you know, Shenanigans, I guess, once, it was, once I was, once she was gone, it was just like, I, I didn't know what, what was going on. It was like, it was like a traumatic, 
don't know what we call it, traumatic event type and everything and like I was shaking, I didn't know what had happened. I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what I had done. I still wasn't in that right state of mind. I don't think like like I was in control of what I could think or what I could do at that point in time. Like most people say, like, why well, don't you just call 911? Why don't you, like, unless you're in that situation, you know, you don't know. We don't know what you would have done. Mm-hmm. It's easy to play Monday morning quarterback. part of my life I took it all away I think that's the hardest part for us Chris is we see those videos we see that love that you had for your girls like it's obvious to us and even to us we it's hard for us to understand how a dad who's given piggyback rides and you know making snacks and watching princess movies and those kinds of things um you get to that point, you know? I don't know. Just, like I said, it was just like something else was controlling me that day. I had no control over what I was like to fight back. Yeah. Like when that prosecutor said it felt a better tongue, like repeatedly, I just, I just wanted to just bang my head up against the wall. So you put Shinyan in the truck and then you put the two girls in the truck? 
were they just sitting in their car seats, or, or I guess they didn't probably have car no, seats they, in your no, truck, no, did no, they? No, they was sitting in the back with the, like in that, that bench. And so Shanann was back there too? She was on the floor. What did they say about Shanann being on the floor? Mommy okay. What did you tell them? She'll, she'll be fine. Did you have your their stuff with them, like their toys and their blankets and stuff? They had they had some they had something with them that they carried. One of them I think at in CC and Bella had like a blanket or something with them, mm -hmm. like a pink, a pink blanket or. What about the dog? I think one of them had a dog, right? That talked or dog. Yeah, yeah, Stacey. yeah. One of them had like a little barking dog. Was that with you too? Do you know? I think it was. Trying to, try to, it's hard to remember. Like yeah. if they had like a big blanket, small blanket. So, I think I saw um, on the video that you put a gas can or something in the back of your truck. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Did you have different plans? Was, when you put that in there? I don't know what was going through my head. I feel like I, maybe I could just get rid of myself at the same time if I was doing all this, honestly. Yeah. You just think about that? What did you think about that? I didn't feel like I deserved to live after what had happened. Is there any thought to um, the whole family going away that day, to include you? After everything happened, not the definite thought. Yeah. See, it's interesting to me. Um, we had all kind of wondered if there was a point when you were all together and if you were all going to pass together. That, to me, makes sense, because that's, even though it sounds crazy, um, that's what a family man does, right? Family man doesn't do what he did. No, I know. I guess what I mean is, um, it seems like you guys were going to be together forever in that way. Is that maybe what was going through your head? I, honestly, I just felt like I didn't, I didn't deserve to live. Yeah. I mean, it was like, whatever judgment I was going to come upon myself, you know, I just didn't deserve to be on this earth anymore. Mm -hmm. What happened? Okay. So what made you not do that, do you think? I don't know if it was just more of like a... Because with the, with the sight, maybe it was just more of like... I would have hurt more people than just me and everybody else. Like, I know there's other people out there. Not like at the site, but other people like maybe out in the area. Like, I didn't want something like on the site to catch fire and blow up. And then other people around would get hurt in the same. So you were thinking initially about starting a fire out there or an explosion or something or? Just, just, no, not, not for not for that, just like maybe I could just take care of myself and not have been that. Wow. I mean, gasoline, that's the only thing you do. I mean, I don't have like, I don't have a gun, I don't have anything like that. It's not like you just commit suicide that way. But so just, just like, to blow yourself up? I mean, it was just, I wasn't thinking. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I, it was, I mean, I don't have, I don't have weapons. I don't have, I've never hunted before in my life. I don't know what, I mean, nothing was right that morning. Yeah. I remember you kept telling me that. He kept saying, I didn't know what I was doing, Tammy. I didn't know. Like, yeah, when you asked me about the sheet, like, what were you doing? Like, I don't know what I was doing. Yeah. I think you were just, like, in automatic mode, or it seemed like. So did you str drive straight out there? So what were you thinking on the way out there? I was kind of like what I was doing right now. I'm just, like, you know, nervous, shaking, not knowing, like, you know, what's going to happen. Yeah. Like, I know, like, my life has completely changed. I don't know, like, what's happening. Like, honestly, like, I try to picture that, that whole ride. Like, it's like 45 minutes to an hour ride out there. And it's just like, couldn't I have, like, 
saved my girl's life? Couldn't I have done something? Why did I do that? I don't know. Right. Like, this is my flesh and blood. This is, like, what I wanted all my life was to be a dad, just to have, you know, kids, and they love me, they, you know, all that. And it just nothing, nothing made sense. Right. Like, the oil tank, nothing made sense. I'm just like, what the what are you doing? Mm-hmm. So what happened when you got out there? I took Shanann out. Just to a place off to the site. Mm-hmm. And then... What were the girls doing when you were doing that? Just sent them back to the truck. And then what happened after that? CC was first. She did have a blanket. She had a blue blanket. A Yankee blanket. So was she alive when she went into the oil tank? Blanket over her head. And that's how she passed. Good grief. I put the blanket over her head. I didn't want to. No. I strangled her right there in the back seat. Okay. What was Bella doing? She was sitting right beside her. Did she understand? Did she know what was going on? And then the same for Bella. Just without a blanket. With the blanket. Oh, okay. I didn't look. Like every time I closed my eyes, I started to hear her say, Daddy, no, and that was it. That's what Bella said. I hear that every day. I'm sorry, man. You know, sorry doesn't really take anything back to that hit. I know. Is it possible that in your mind you didn't want them to suffer throughout their life? Was this like a mercy thing? I mean, you can say that, like, after the fact, but it was just like, I don't... You didn't feel like that during I, that? I just didn't. I felt like it was just, like, an anger with Shanann, with everything that I was just taking it out on everybody that was in front of me that morning. Yeah. I mean, kids growing, out with, growing up without their parents, they, I mean, depending on what grandparents or whatever they, whoever they grew up with, seemed to be fine, but it was just, like, it was an anger thing. It was just, like... And what were you so angry at Shanann about? Like, if you could pinpoint it. Nothing that... Nothing that makes anybody to want to do this. I mean, you could be angry at your spouse, like, your whole life, but you should never have done anything like this. You should never let it get to that point. But I let it get to a point where I never... I mean, I've never been angry before. Like, and this was, like, the epitome of being angry. Yeah. The epitome of like showing a rage, the epitome of like losing losing your mind. I mean even like some people in here have said to like the heck happened? You must have freaking snapped and like I just walk away. I'm just like, you know, it's, it's I don't see it in my mind how it could have like you know, I look outside every day, I'm like, what could we be doing right now? Yeah. But, you know. Right now, I'd have a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a more than likely a one-month-old son. And a beautiful wife. And just like, right now, it's just me. I watched that video of you finding out that Shanann was pregnant. 
don't seem excited. You seem like kind of in shock Scared. and yeah, like oh fuck. Like well, it's, it's already complicated and now this. Well, it's like a when we had talked about it, like a couple of weeks, it happened fat. Like with Bella, it was like we almost gave up mm-hmm. trying. And then she bought me like a supercharger for my car. And then with Cece, it was like we had to try and try and try. And then finally, but with Nico, it was, you know, once or twice. And then like two weeks later, she's pregnant. Is that what happened? Yes. Huh. It's just like, it was more of like surprise, scared. I'm like, wait, what? It's like, we just, we, just, we, just, we just talked about this. <laughs> Like, you know, you know, people have brought up the fact, like, oh, she, she was probably pregnant before, like, you guys even talked about it. I'm just like, no, it's just not, it's not, no. But, like, yeah, it was insanely fast. I give it that. Like, that's the only reason I ever gave that notion, like, even the moment of thought, because it was, like, faster than any other time that she, she'd gotten pregnant. You just didn't seem happy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I haven't, like, I don't remember the video much. I know. She was wearing like a oops, we did it again shirt, I think, and I was walking with my cooler or something. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember like my actual like reaction, like watching the video, but like I could see, I could see her surprise, see her, like a uh, didn't seem like he was jumping for joy type thing. Yeah, it didn't seem like that. Did you watch the one of the uh, when I found out about Cece? No. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Is it totally different? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Because uh, Bella was in the crib and it had an eviction notice on the. Oh, yeah, I think you told me about it. Yeah, I never saw it though. Yeah, I picked up Bella and spun her around and whatnot. This time it was just me and Shanann and she was in the kitchen. I don't know, like, I don't forget what date it was, maybe like June 3rd or 5th or 7th. I'm not sure, like, what date it was in the video, but maybe I already felt guilty about. Talking to Nikki at work. Yeah. Maybe I, maybe that was going through my head. Is that the potential timing? Does that make sense? Okay. I don't remember the video, what day the video was, but I knew like I kind of met Nikki around like June first. I knew like the she told me like afterwards. When you say met her, you mean like went on a date with her? No, no, I never went on a date with her until she was in North Carolina. Oh, okay. Just like flirting stuff. Yeah, I mean, there was natural flirting back back and forth, and I was just like, I just, I knew that, like, with that video timing, I probably just looked like I was, like, felt guilty for even talking to the girl at work. Well, you probably did, right? Yeah. Did you guys fight before, you and Shanann? I know you talked about, like, not really raising your voice and stuff. Was there, because I want to say, didn't a neighbor talk about them fighting and stuff? Yeah, but that was, that was embellished and exaggerated and he retracted that. So oh, he ended yeah, up he, doing yeah, that? that so. Did you guys ever fight? Did you ever... No, I mean, have, was, was there any domestic violence in your house? Like, no, I like never... This is strange to us to Even have... from her to you, I mean... Yeah. She gets no. mad when she's pregnant and grabs a knife or... No, like... Scratches you or smacks you around or nothing? No, she's never, like, nothing. Okay. That's what makes all this even more hard to understand from my standpoint and from yours, too. Yeah. Did she ever belittle you at all? Did you ever feel that way, maybe? What was that? Did, you, did she ever make you feel like she belittled you or you felt belittled by her? I mean, there's always points, like, in, in a marriage where, like, you know, the dominant person, like, you know, takes control of sure. everything. But, like, you know, I was just, my whole life, I just kind of went with the flow. Like, yeah, I never, I never, like, put myself in the center of attention I didn't want to be. Yeah. And I just kind of, I just wanted to be in the back row. If she did belittle me, I couldn't pick a point, pick at that point or time. She never really felt that way. But no, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I always knew I was like, you know, the introvert, and she was the, you know, right. she took control of most situations. Like when people came over, like you know, I knew what I, <laughs> my role was. <laughs> yeah. Like I watch videos of like, like cooking, you know, or she'd make like power balls, or you know, or like uh, protein balls, or whatever. Yeah. You just don't seem like you want to be in those videos. No. Like you feel, I feel like you were being forced to be in those videos. And correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, that's I, what it I, seemed I, like I to hate, me. I hated being in videos. I hated. I mean, I did it because for her, because right. it was for for her business and sure. stuff. But like it was, you know, I I didn't. I hated just being out yeah. for everybody to see. That's why, like the whole like 
the gender reveal thing, I was just like, hmm, I, I didn't want it to be like some live Facebook video. I'm just like, no. <laughs> But like I just I never wanted to be out there. Yeah, I know I'm like. Well, even when she was, because we talk about this a lot, Tammy and I and Dave. Even when it was, you know, I think it was Florida on some Lavelle or Thrive thing, and she's like, "Here we are," and it's all expenses paid. And I was like, I remember looking at you and thinking, like, he is not into this video right now. No, you don't look into any of the videos. I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't be either. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, get it. I, I mean, I remember you talking about like she would even post stuff for you, like because oh, yeah. you're technically a salesman too of yeah, was, Lavelle of yeah, Thrive. Yeah. Like she put me underneath her, and that like anything like any of my friends or stuff, like anything I do would help her. Right. So it was just you know, I would send her pictures. Like, like I would say, I take a picture with your patch. I'm like, okay, send it to her, and then she'd make a post about it. She would. She eventually. She was like, "I oh, need to take more control over like your business and stuff." I'm just like, "I don't know what to talk about." Right. Like if I went up to talk about talk to somebody at the mall or at the pool or somebody about this, I just stumble all over my words and just like they'd be like, "Okay, bye." But no. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not the salesman. She's. She's. I mean, she could sell everything you're wearing back to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you wouldn't even know it. Like, wait, I just paid. Right. For this shirt, and I paid twenty bucks for it. Yeah, it's those videos were not me. I just I did it just just to support her. You know, like she would always say, "Oh." Could you tell her no? Could you say, "I don't want to be in that video," or was that an option? Probably not an option. I mean, it's like you know, she would have been like, "Oh, why? This is to you know help our family. This is for you know to help this and that." You know, so I couldn't have told her no. I mean, it would just it would have made her mad. I would have been like, "No." I would I wouldn't want to start that just because it's for the business it's for the family you know, I, I was just going to try to help out wherever we can right did that actually make money mm-hmm. so not only just more sales but it actually put money in your guys' pocket mm-hmm. okay and she made probably probably in that last year probably as much as I did on commissions basically I mean I know that's a simplified version of it but yep. I mean it's uh, they don't take taxes out on it so yeah. right that, that was like the good thing and they paid for your car mm-hmm. yeah. so did they give you an her an allowance or something mm-hmm. to buy a car yeah well, if you, at least if, you it. if you're a certain level like a 12k or above they give you a car allowance once a month hmm. I'm not sure how they how they made money the owners doing that but they did yeah unless they're just like in the same markup on the product which I probably guess there is probably is yeah I'm not sure how much much it costs for them to make it. Yeah. Did you feel like a different person wearing those patches? Especially like the the duo, the burn. I, I mean, the, it felt. I mean, like the Apple watches. Like if you look on it, like when it tells you to exercise, it says mm-hmm. I was exercising like all day because my heart rate was like up. Oh. Mm-hmm. Just from those patches. Was it full of caffeine or what? Uh, they just have something. They had something in them. I mean, I had, the black label ones, the, the longer black ones, they, those had caffeine in them, but it never had that effect. And, I mean, the duo burn ones, the ones that are more of like the fat loss type, it was, I could, it felt like I was working out all day, even were though I wasn't. Oh, were you tired? I mean, I know at some points, I, would, I mean, even Nikki said that, like, you know, I'd fall asleep on the couch. Oh. on her couch while I was talking to her and then like pick back up like I was like I never knew I fell asleep mm-hmm. which I don't know if it was like some insomnia thing or what but like I was huh. I wasn't sleeping much you mm-hmm. had a lot going on then yeah yeah but that was the only patches I really felt like a real big difference on just because it felt like I felt like I was working out all day mm-hmm. you don't feel like they changed your personality or anything like that though or do you? I don't know. I don't really know. I know I just, I just felt different on those than any other batch. It was... I feel like I could just go longer and longer each day. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure, like, if that was probably, that was probably a bad thing. Because I, I don't think I was probably sleeping more than three hours a night. So would you stay at, when Shan was gone, would you stay with Nikki and then go home for, like, to get ready for work? Yeah, i just wake up at, like, four... 4.30 and go home and get ready for work and leave. And I just work out when I got back home. Mm-hmm. 
what were the conversations with Nikki as far as um, at some point you guys were talking about her helping you find an apartment so what did you guys talk about as far as your future together that didn't really happen until like I got back from back from the beach so I told her like I, you know I, I lied to her like hey you know like I don't like I had talked to Shannon about getting the separation and that talk hadn't happened yet no I okay. mean it, it kind of like not, I mean, she knew something was going on at the beach. I mean, we, we weren't sleeping in the same room, and then she, she, you know, she even mentioned the fact like, hey, you know, you know, Colorado's 50, 50 state or something like that, and which I was like, okay, well, I guess she looked it up. But you know, that actual talk had like actual okay. happened. I was just like, I thought it was going to happen. Yeah. And so in, in conversations with Nikki, and I get it. I mean, you're, you're telling her like the progress toward the divorce is a little bit more than it was mm -hmm. and then so what were you guys planning so it was more of like um, she's going to help me find an apartment that was affordable that's mm -hmm. kind of just around like Brighton or maybe just close to work like another for Lupton or something around there that's mm -hmm. kind of like where my area was mm -hmm. did you talk about moving in with her she, did, she didn't want that she didn't want that would no. you have done that if she would have been no. cool with that uh I, I've been a little too soon. I would have thought there was just, you know, we'd only been really seeing each other like almost like a month or maybe just talking about two months. That would have been really... But she she called her house, like, her apartment, like her, I don't know, like her, like, kind of like a shield or kind of like her, I don't know, she had another word for it, but... Like her safe place? Yeah, like a safe mm -hmm. place or something like that. And she didn't like, you know, people like to invade it, but... That's why she always let me come over because she said she felt like it was, that was fine, like her dog liked me and everything. Like she was like, hey, you know, you just ship people along here type thing. Like, oh, okay. 